Hello everyone, welcome back to New Forest Morphs. We have a clutch of eggs that we're going to pull today um, from one of my favourite girls called Calypso. She is a pastel clown, 100% het for pied, and she's sitting on a nice tower of eggs. So if we uh, get her out, you can have a look. She seems pretty calm at the moment, which is good. Pretty chilled. Mm -hmm. So if we get her off first. Mm -hmm. Good girl. You've had her about four years, Jack, haven't you? Yeah, she's been with us for a while, so we'll yeah. just check, make sure she's empty. Yeah, I've run a bath at 90 degrees for her. Okay, so she's got nothing in there, she's got a nice cavity, as you can Lovely. see. Uh -huh. She looks good, she's been a good girl, so we'll get her in her bath. Okay, good girl, Calypso. So she is the Holy Grail project. So she's carrying the head pied and we put the Bowser Boy juice call to her. So hopefully. She can use this. Yeah, okay. You'll notice it's feeding day today. It's all happening. We're going to cut a clutch later today as well. So there so are a couple of slugs. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about what creates slugs a bit later, Jarek, but uh, okay. pretty good size though. She was clutch. nearly 2.9 kilograms, I think. Yeah, but, uh, good how many good eggs have we got in there? So there's two, four, six, eight good eggs and two bad eggs. Okay. So we get rid of those slugs. There's yep. two that you can see that are sort of partial slugs, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see if they've got veins. Mm -hmm. That one's got veins. Can you see that? Let's have a little look. I'll zoom in. Yeah, I can see the veins. So I'll stick that one in there. It's loose already. Mm -hmm. Get rid of any paper. Yeah. Pop it in there. Yeah. Do you want to use the straws I've got, Joe? Because they will roll otherwise. So I've cut eight straws. The straws will help any eggs that are going to roll off. You might have to put one either side. Right, next one. So they're all separate. So here's another one. Can you see? Oh, powerful. Look at the strong strength of those veins. Those veins are very strong, aren't they? Good veins in there. Yeah, so I'll put that one in there as well. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to lay them this way. Yeah. Here's another one. And they're good, looking good, the veins. See the veins in there? Very good. I'll just focus on there. Yeah, I can see the veins. Lovely. I love the colour. When you get that lovely amber orange. They look like really, really healthy eggs, which is good. They do, yeah. So here's another one. Veins in there. Oh, she's been a good mother. Is that one loose? Stuff, boy. That one's, I think that she's one's connected to yeah. two, so we'll tap these two together. And that one's also good. See yeah. the veins over there? See the veins, yeah. So... Take the two of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have separated. Okay. One in there. Check to make sure there's nothing on the bottom. We still keep them the same way that they've been laid. We exactly. Keep them exactly the same with the veins facing normally upwards. So these are the slugs. We'll take these two out. Yeah. Are the three, will they separate easily? Or I think she just laid these. Yeah, they're easy to separate. She was due on the 7th of April, but it's the 10th today. So, so she's three days later than we expected, but very strong veins, which is wonderful. And the fact that we've got eight eggs out of her is fantastic. Could have had ten, Jared, if you would have gone the whole way on the slugs. Good veins in that one. Oh, look, there's the embryo wobbling. Can you see the embryo? Yeah. The embryo, uh, em embryo wobbling. And this one, same again. Oh, this is great news. These, these look like really good they eggs, Jared. I think it's light on and we'll finish these off. Yeah, okay. I think they look really good, Jared. Good healthy eggs, though. Yeah, you've got to be very pleased. I mean, it's four years in the making, this project. Yeah, she's it's always been an exciting one. We're hoping that she would, she would have gone last year, but she wasn't ready, even though she was big. And sometimes it is frustrating when you put three years of effort into a girl hoping they to breed with them, and they don't want to go. But just stay with it, because look look how big the clutch is, Joe. Eight healthy eggs. So keep First time mum, that is, that is pretty good, Joe. Stick a couple of these in. So the eggs sort of wedge themselves together, and you've just got to put, put these in on each side. Yeah. So they don't roll. Now you realise she's taken us to 101 eggs now, because we were on 93 yesterday, and now she's taken us to 101 eggs wow. in incubation. 101. And if you include all the other eggs that were either infertile or slugs, we probably would have had another 15 on top of that. So we've got 101 good eggs on incubation, is what we're saying, Jeff. So she gave us 10 eggs. So we've got 10 eggs. <coughs> Eight of them were good. Yeah. It's a good clutch, Jeff. And two slugs. Right, if you can show up the sign, Jared, and just talk us through the 
probabilities and what's going to happen, what you think could happen here. So Bowser's a dream school, which is a lavender albino and a pied together. Yeah. Calypso is a pastel clown that's 100% het for pied. So we're hoping to hit some pastel pieds that are double het, 100% for dream for uh, lavender and clown. So that will be the holy holy grail project. I mean, it's a massive in the hitting block, block, isn't it? Because in theory, if we end up getting a couple of pieds that were double het, everything's going to be double het for everything's going to be triple het, isn't it? Yeah, minimum triple hat. Minimum triple hats here, but if we get a visual pie that's got two double hats and that's a man and female and we throw them both up and breed them, we could then hit the Holy Grail. Um, so that would be our goal. So we'll get them on incubate. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to get a double video from this today because we're also going to cut one of our most exciting anticipated clutches that's due in a couple of days. I'm going away to Cornwall for a few days, so Jad and I have decided to cut early. While um, that girl's on the bath. But they look pretty, I mean, they look pretty much ready to go anyway, because yeah, you can see how they've, they've absorbed. They've absorbed all of the yolk. Um, but um, <clears throat> before we cut, Jared, let's just discuss what causes slugs, in your in your opinion. Because some people... Things. You get inf infertility. Infertility. Um, bad temperatures. Spiking temperatures. Girls Anything? not mature enough. Yeah, a spike's not mature enough. Yeah, immature, male or female. I also believe that sustainability of building the clutch, because if a female isn't quite big enough or healthy enough. Yeah, with enough food in her. Yeah, and also there's genetic issues where certain snakes genetically gotcha. don't mix. We've had a couple of snakes which have given us deformed animals and infertile eggs because the genetics weren't actually uh, mixed or there's been too much family interbreeding. Mm. All these things can have an impact. But I think for me, the most common cause of a slug would be either putting a boy because if you look at some um, yesterday's video when i lifted starburst colts was a brand new boy that we was locking but we didn't notice he was producing sperm yeah but we thought we'd try him i wonder whether he was firing blanks and some of those blanks got to the eggs and yeah, maybe you know could have been but i don't know whether that's the whether that'll work or not but um yeah anyway these ones we had one slug in here and seven good egg, seven good eggs so introduce us to the clutch so we've got the pairing was Hercules, which is a pastel leopard Enchi lesser clown, to Isa, who's an Enchi desert ghost, which you put possible cryptic. We'll find out today, hopefully. Um, I'll show you the boy. There's a lot of GG Enchis that are carrying cryptic, and uh, because cryptic and Enchi look very similar, the cryptic is disguised, Jared. But you'll find out if we hit some cryptons in this clutch, we'll know that she's carrying cryptic. So here's the boy. Hercules. It comes from Van Haren. The female comes from Van Haren um, because he's renowned and known to sell snakes which have extra hidden genes, and cryptic oh, really? is one of them. So this is why I'm thinking we may be lucky because it's such a high end DG. And let's have a look at Isa. I'm going to get her out, we can look at her. Is she eating now? Yeah, she's back on her food. Yeah, she's a beautiful girl. And whether she's could be carrying cryptic because cryptic and enchi are kind of hard to distinguish in some ways because they've got a banding pattern so if she's carrying cryptic we'll know cryptic is allelic meaning on the same allele as clown which means that if you put a clown to a cryptic you produce what they call a krypton and a krypton is a heck clown and a heck cryptic and they are beautiful animals very powerful jared so i'm hoping that we've hit some kryptons here but we shall soon find Let's out see. If we can get them separate, get them ready for cutting. Mm -hmm. So how many have we got? Seven, Jared? Seven eggs. Do you want to do the four when I do three? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's start with this one. Okay. Put it there so you can see it better. Well, fingers crossed, Jared. Now we could get super inches here because the boy is an Enchi, he's carrying Leopard, Pastel and Lesser. She's an Enchi, hopefully cryptic, DG, and see what we hit. What is that? Leopard, there's Leopard in that for sure. Let's have a look. Looks like a Pastel Leopard to me. Pastel Leopard. Is there a, anything that looks cryptic or Krypton? Can't see the baby's head. Beautiful snake, mm -hmm. and as you can see, it's absorbed all its yolk well. Mm -hmm. Some lovely patterns to it. Yeah. Well done, Jared. There's a nice button there. You can see the pattern well there. 
Let me just focus in on this, get it, get it to focus. So these would have probably pipped tomorrow, in my opinion. Yeah. You can see how there's no yolk at all. Yes. The veins are right on them, they probably would have pipped out. Well done, Jared. So that's a really nice looking one. Nice leopard. I'd be very surprised if we get any normal looking snakes here, Jared. Because, yeah, we should have. <laughs> because the reality is, with so many genes, I mean, the boy's carrying five genes, she's carrying potentially three. Oh, look at so. this one. So this one's got a little window. Okay, should we have a look into the window? You can see it's got like, almost looks like a normal pattern on it. Let's have a look at the round window. Let's see if I can see what's going on there. Okay. So we've got one leopard. Yeah, half of them should be leopard, shouldn't they? Yeah, 50% should be leopard. Yeah. yeah. This one feels like a bigger snake. Like it fills out its egg more. So this is Hercules' first ever clutch. He was big enough to breed last year, but he wouldn't knock. And we got, we were contemplating getting a replacement male and there was no need to worry because Inchy, he just needed Inchy. an extra year to get mature. Have we got an Enchi or a Super Enchi? It's definitely an Enchi, I don't know if it's Super. Can you see that? It looks a lot cleaner. Okay, have a look. So there's two. Mm -hmm. Let's go for this one. There's a big window on that one, Jad. You might have to look through the, look through the window. Can't see too well through it. Okay. All right, let's see what's in this egg. So so far we've got a leopard. We've got some form of enchi. Yeah. Let's see what's in there. Okay. And again, these might have other stuff in them, but it'll become easier to see when they're out. Yeah. So this one's still got a bit of yolk. Mhm. Mm and there is a. Is that a super enchi? I think it might be. Oh, we've got a super inchy. Yes, we have, Jared, which is lovely. Let's see if I can get a zoom in close up on that one. We've never had a super inchy. It's lovely looking. Really reduced pattern. It's not clown looking or cryptic looking. I'm trying to see its head. Krypton looking, is it? Because if it's a krypton, it'd be even nicer. But, um, trying to get a view of its head, but it's tucked away. Head's in there, in the middle of its body. Okay. Lovely super inchy with maybe leopard in as well. Yeah, that'd be lovely, Jared. That pattern looks kind of crazy and reduced at the same time, so. Yeah. There we okay. go. Do, do the whole clutch because, you sure? yeah, it's okay. not a problem. I'm enjoying this as much as I was cutting them myself, but um, I'm hoping that uh, we get the all gene animal with everything in it. I haven't seen any lesser yet. What is that? Is it a leopard? It's very bright compared to the others. Right, they're it's all not het, enchi. They're all het for DG, remember, so you get a DG influence on the het. Pastel leopard enchi lesser clown. I'm not sure what that is. It's not a krypton, is it? I don't know. Krypton says it's they're hiding its face pretty well. There's its head, it's not a clown head. Well, the kryptons don't have clown heads, Jared. They actually have a reduced head. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if you look at what a krypton looks like, you're not going to get a clown looking head. Yeah. No. But they have reduced eye striping and they have like a V on their heads, I think. So anything with a V on it, which could be... Well, so far, no normals. <laughs> oh, I'd be very surprised to get normals. Hitting a normal days. would be ridiculous. Yeah, so this is the second clutch that we've opened this year and this all looks successful to me at the moment. What's that? Lesser? Yeah. You got Lesser the... entry or Lesser Super entry? What do you think? Definitely Lesser and definitely entry in there. Yeah. And that Maybe pretty. pastel as well. Yeah. It's a very light looking engine. Beautiful, Jared. Really pretty. Lovely snake. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting really good. Save the little one till last, because that's what I reckon is going to be the banger. Okay. <laughs> Great things come in small packages. The nice thing is that they're all double um, het for clown and DG, which is what we want. Multi combos, which have got those two genes in, so that when we actually put them together, we can produce some multi combos. Desert Ghost Clowns is what we want to do. And that's another that leopard. leopard again, is it? Well, the leopard's yeah, been very leopard dominant, hasn't it? It's been quite influential. And um, what would you say? Leopard? It looks like just leopard to me. Maybe pastel leopard, actually. Pastel it's leopard. got blushing. Pastel leopard. Pastel leopard. Yeah. Okay. Pastel leopard on that one. Mm -hmm. So we've got one entry, one super entry, one lesser entry, one leopard, one pastel leopard, and then whatever that other one is. And the small one. That's wonderful, Jared. Right, the last one, let's see what we're going to get. So, so far, no normals, and everything looks very beautiful. 
So this is the baby of the clutch. And I say all double hats for clown desert ghosts. And the baby is... What is that? It's got stripes on it. Lesser leopard? Lesser leopard. A lesser leopard that puts a stripe on them normally. Yeah. And I've always wanted a lesser leopard. Well, that's definitely lesser and leopard. Beautiful. Beautiful really bird. pretty. We've got a lovely uh, combination, quite a few animals here. Um, really pretty as well. So pretty. Yeah, I do, you, see, I do look, like that. you can see there's a little hole. See where he's about to pip out? Mm hmm. Was he starting to make a hole? He has a little hole in his egg sac. Oh, okay. Can you see it, can you see it on camera? Uh, let's have a look. Right, you can see his eye through it. I don't know if you can. Okay. That's nice. It just goes to show that they were going to pip any moment now. But I knew that because they'd absorbed so much egg and there was literally just very little left in the egg jar, I knew that yeah. they were ready to go. So. And they're only a couple of days early, and we've had um, slightly higher temperatures on that one anyway, because instead of running at 89, it's been running at 90 in some cases, so yeah. that will accelerate it. So I think overall, Jared, we've got a lovely, successful... Yeah, a little setup. closer about that. Yeah. So let's start at the front and work our way through. So the first one's got pastel leopard, is it? I think so, yeah. Yeah? Second one? What I'm you not say? too sure. Does it look leopardy to you? Mm, not really. No? It could be. I mean, I can only see the side of it at the moment. So. Yeah, okay. And there's a leopard. So that one's a leopard there. Maybe pastel leopard. Pastel leopard, yeah. Super inchy possible leopard in that, maybe? Super inchy possible leopard, yeah. You've got a lesser at the back. Enchy. And then you've got an inchy in the middle there. And then what have you got? So these the are the two lessers. That's a lesser leopard. Lesser leopard. And uh, I think that's an enchy lesser. A lesser enchy, maybe. And maybe a pastel as well, because it's pastel so, so washed out. Enchi. No, beautiful. So you've got three codoms going into a double head. That's a very powerful animals, Jack. Yeah, there's some, some good eggs there. Yeah. Well, hopefully well, they'll come out in the next couple of days. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll get so, a good close-up of them, wash them off and get them on their food. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jared, for doing a lovely cut. You've cut them beautifully, by the way. The technique that you've adopted to avoid too much blood is just to talk, talk us through your... So, when you get this, the egg, you pinch the top. You sort of make like a roll at the top. Yeah. And then you... Our scissors have like a curve in them. So, I cut like that with the curve away from the egg. And then it doesn't have any danger to the snake. You cut one nice slit. You can see inside and all the yolk stays inside as well. Okay. That's good. Jared, if you don't mind, if you, when you put those back, can you bring back the next clutch part on to yeah. see what's coming up shortly? Because we've got eggs being laid and we've got eggs being cut parallel, and you'll probably get several videos from us on a regular basis here. But um, <clears throat> keep the number two showing on the outside, Jared, so we know what's happening. Yeah. So we keep ours in the incubator until they come out of the eggs. You don't want to mess with them, let them come out naturally. And then we let them shed out as a group. We put them in a shed tub and then we'll give them individual tubs once they've shed out. Is our process, Jad. Yeah. So let's just go through maybe from the three onwards, Jad. Just give us an indication what we've got coming up in future videos. So clutch three, so the next clutch will be a pastel cinnamon pie to a dream school. So we should hit some pastel cinnamon pies that are hit for lavender. Mm -hmm. That'll be our that goal there. You. Yeah, that's lovely. And she's doing well, she's back on food. Next clutch is Bellissimo to Bubbles, which is a very exciting one. That is a pastel leopard orange dream yellow belly het clown male to an enchi lesser clown female. And that one's due on the 4th of May. When was the other one due, Jared? This, this one is day. due on the 22nd of April. So we'll have one in about 10 days. And 22nd of April, yeah. and a week so afterwards. A week after we'll have that, and then we're coming every week from then on, onwards, I think, Jack. Three, four, yeah. five. Got mango. Name. Mango this is one of your favourite clutches and skip. So pastel lesser clown to a gravel pet clown. So we're trying to get some more gravel clowns, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Then we've got Suzuki to Hercules, which is a vanilla pet clown to a pastel lesser leopard enchi clown. And she's due on the night for May as well. Yep, and three so eggs what's, there. what's the best thing we can hit there? It would be a vanilla pastel lesser leopard enchi clown. Yeah, lovely. So lots of codons going into the clowns. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we've got clutch seven, which is Casper to Zag. So it's a Mojave Bamboo Het Ultramel, Het for Exantic, to a Bamboo Het Exantic Het Ultramel. Okay. So we're going to find out if she's carrying Exantic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. I think we'll leave it there, Jared, yeah. because... <coughs> so you can see these are the clutches that are coming shortly. And uh, I reckon, Jared, we've hit the 101X, which is my goal for the year. So whatever we get now is a bonus. 
And all the males, Jared, you've been feeding the males, you're going to be feeding them today. You've yep. fed a few two days ago. They're all doing well. Hercules is feeding. He's one of our stud boys. Yep. He's Hercules, doing well. Elvis, Skip. Elvis probably. and Skip, you fed. And we're going to rest our boys now. So we'll do the occasional locking just for the girls that need it. Mm -hmm. Which girls do you think are going to go next on the next set of eggs do you think we're going to get? Um, well, we've got Xena. She's at 40 mil follicles. So let's have a quick look at Xena. See if she's going to go soon. Mm, don't think so. I think she's got a bit longer to go. Got these two girls are getting pretty big. Money Penny and Lala. What size They're are they? Both almost 40. Okay, let's have a quick look at them. See if they are showing any signs of laying eggs. She's massive. She's in shed. She's, so going, she's got prelay. Is that her prelay shed? So yeah. she will. She'll be a while before she goes. She's a hypo pipe project. Lala looks very promising, Jared. I thought that she might um, go for us soon. So she's the Exantic Pied Project. So she's Hep Pied, and we put the double Exantic Pied boy to her. She could go soon. And then your Toast. girl, Toast, which we think might have 19 to 20 eggs in. I thought she gave us a massive ovulation, Jared. Now, I think that could be an ovulation if yeah, you look I at think it. That might be the ovulation. So look, just lift up her tail and see if we've got a tail suck. You see a tail suck? No. no. I mean, Maybe she's nice. getting ready to lay. Or well, she's getting ready to lay one or the other, but uh, uh, there's a big mass of eggs that are building. <laughs> she's blown up. Yeah, we'll see what's going on there. That's lovely, Jared. Any others that you think might go? Pringle uh, Phoebe. and Phoebe, maybe? Phoebe's 44 mil, so. Yeah, she's, she's been bathing a lot, but she's got a lot of calcium on her at the moment from being in the water for so long. You see the calcium yeah, on her head? her head. But she might be getting ready to go soon. And then Pringle. Pringle. She's Any got sign? a little bottle. Any signs of laying from Pringle? She looks big enough to give us a good clutch there, Jared. Yeah, I think she was like 30 mil last time we checked. Starbus we've done yesterday. Venus is the other one that might go. Out to say hi. She's a pastel cinnamon spot nose. Yeah, and went to Apollo. And then Celeste is the other one that could go soon. She looks pretty big there, doesn't she? Yeah. So Bell Project. And then we've also got a couple of other ones down here. Nasa and Hazel. Nasa's the Bongo clown girl. She's looking pretty big, so hopefully she'll go soon. And then Hazel, I think she's going into a pre laid shed, Jared. If I have a quick look at her, I put some extra water on her to get her into a nice shedding situation. But if you look look at her, she's in deep shed. So this could be her pre laid shed, I think, Jared. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, pre laid shed. And then we've got the Dream School girl who came out of shed today, which I wanted to show you, Jared. <coughs> Over here. <coughs> she looks stunning out of shed and she's glowing. Let's have a quick look at her. So peach first. Have a quick look and see what she's doing. She should be. That, I think that was her prelay shared, but look how beautiful she is, and hopefully she'll give us some, a lovely clutch. She looks big, doesn't she? Yeah. So, and if we put the blackhead dreams, blackhead lavender boy to her, which is Zeus at the bottom. Let's have a quick look at him. See how he's doing. So we're going to feed him today, but he's putting on good weight and looks beautiful with the blackhead. The lavenders really shine with the blackhead going in there. And then the other one is Daisy. She's getting close to 37 mil last time we did her, so she's getting close to laying. And then the last one I wanted to show would be Queenie, who was 20, well, she was 34 mil. And she's nesting a little bit. So there's all of the girls. And that leads us nicely over to your girl Calypso Jazz. Should we check and see how she's doing? So you can see all the rats getting ready for defrost. Let's have a look and see how she's looking, how she's doing. You are a clever girl. She looks half the size of what she mm -hmm. was. She really does. I mean, honestly, she was so big and thick, but we'll rebuild her. But well done. You have been a very, very clever girl today. Produced some amazing animals. Jack, thank you so much for uh, joining me on this lovely experience. Right. Really enjoyed it and it's exciting. Now we're starting to see the fruits of our labours, aren't we, in terms of all that hard work is starting to pay dividends. So. Yeah, they're on their way. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. And Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button, notifications. Yeah. 
and we shall see you very soon. Sounds good. Bye for now. See you later. Bye-bye.